Moving on with the front headlock, we want to look at uh, how I can, uh, basically, a lot of guys call it a gator roll. Uh, in Greco and freestyle, it's just a turn. It's just, you know, it's two points every time you turn. Obviously, it's not what we're doing. But the, the grip that I'm using with the front headlock, don't, don't forget, it's not your folk style, you know, chin strap and pulling on the bicep, ripping it around. A little different than I'm trying to do. I want to keep that control on this, and it gives me a chance to get my turn, even with him in this position, but watch where I put my leg. That's critical. So again, same entry. I'm coming in here. He's 90, he's gonna keep adjusting 90. So for me to just keep starting right here, I'm really not training myself very well because it's not, this isn't realistic unless he's, you know, got it, he's been super glued here. He's gonna move 90 just like that every single time. So back please. I'm gonna start right here and then what? Pressure, kick and create my angle. Now I've got my X across, okay? When I push, he's gonna push back. When he pushes back or he's gonna take his hand and try to take it off. Either way, it's hard to move my hand, push back hard and try to move my hand. It's hard to move my hand, but if I'm too, if I go too high, and I say that he'll push that right off. So I need to be again where, right at the top of the ear, pressure. His head comes back, stuff it. I go to the top of the knowledge knot, stuff it. Throw the front headlock, chop the arm again. Power choke grip. I need my leg out here this time, and I need to hit my head. Well, I still want to close the door. I can't have my head up here. He can still do a front headlock switch even in this seated position if I don't close the door. So when I lock this grip, my foot comes out, I close the door, and I'm here. I'm gonna drop this knee under his knee and roll, and then we're gonna go through a half house. So when I drop this knee here, we roll over, watch my grip change. The hand on the chest is gonna go to his chin strap. The hand on the arm is gonna go bicep to bicep. So we need to move this way. Keep going. You got it? So when I go, I land it here again, the hand on the chest, chin strap, the other one goes bicep to bicep, I pull, look at this, this is key, look how I'm pulling his head. One of the defenses that can slow me down is he pushes his head up, push your head this way, and I try to bridge, he's gonna block me. So I pull the head down to keep it clear, as I go bicep to bicep to get down there, when I bridge, my butt stays off the ground. He can't touch the ground again. So my knee hits, I step over, throw the other hook, there's your cow catcher, after the half ouch, I have to pin the shoulder though. I sit out, pin, squeeze, turn the head, and gently pull my elbow up to my ribs. There should be a little move. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. It's a little bit faster. We'll try and keep the angles good for you guys. So again, I start off here, I'm playing, I'm checking my levels, I'm checking my levels, I'm playing, boom, it comes back, stuff, lock, close the door, go away, over, and we're in position. So here, I sit out, Pressure, pressure, pressure on the shoulder, turn the head, elbow, come on, That's it for that one, guys.